How are we doing guys? So just a little tutorial on how to do the uh, vinyl uh, flooring, the click lock style stuff. Uh, we've got a box around this somewhere that's not being sat on. So this is what we're laying. This is the Howlands Professional Click Fit Vinyl Flooring. Very similar to a laminate style. Uh, black, rubber, plasticky vinyl stuff with your female joint and your male joint, same on the ends. As you can see, we've already thrown quite a lot down. So to start, what you need to do is work out your center line on your whole length of your run to see what sort of cuts you've got. Now I'm lucky, I had pretty much a full board there with a little trim and another full board almost there with a little trim. So that's a good, that's how you want to do it. You don't want little sliver cuts on your edges. Avoid that because they will lift even if you've got skirting on top. It can still cause you problems. They can pop and go under the skirting and leave a gap. So you've got to be very careful there. And then what I do is I will run a dead straight line of two board wide down the center so that I can square it with my room because this room is not, as you can see, it's quite a long room and the walls kick in up there and then they kick in down there. So you want to get so you've got a decent cut all the way down your legs. So I say I'll do two runs. What I would do is I'll do a full board at the start, and then I'll do a half board, quarter board, and then a full board, half board, quarter board. That way you get a nice, reasonably staggered pattern on your joints, so you're not, your joints are all overlapped by at least 200 mil minimum. When it comes to doing your scribes, all I do, I'm saying we've got a scribe around this chimney breast now, because this is a loft room. So you'll butt your, your board up to the edge of that board, making sure that your line is dead all the way through, all the way through, sorry. And you'll get a piece like this, which is just an off cut. And then you'll put that there and you can draw your line all the way through. Get yourself a longer piece, like this one, for example. So you want to have an expansion gap there. So I haven't at the minute, but I haven't cut it because as you can see, I've got this square here, which is where you want to square it up. You see it's tight there, but it has a gap there. And you do that at both ends, once you've drawn your line, it's quite simple. You just got to score that with your knife carefully. Score that with your knife. Mm -hmm. So like I said, carefully on your knife down. You ain't got to go deep, you just only got to score it. So get a lot of line on it. Both ends. careful you can just carefully break that like that and it'll tear and then you've just got to do down that loop again the same thing again nice and carefully follow your line and carefully trims you need to make to give yourself a better expansion gap so you just cut that away with your knife to get a nice clean edge. That way you get, so I'm a bit tight here so I'm gonna run my knife down now. I'm a little bit tight there as well so I'm just gonna make those lines a little bit deeper. But I'd rather it's tight and then add my expansion gap rather than try and get the expansion gap because if you do it wrong you've wasted a whole length of board. This stuff is so easy to cut it is literally straight edge or set square, do a line and snap. Really easy. And for your fine little trims, I use a little little hand plane, nice sharp blade on it. You can use that to plane the ends off to get your gaps a little bit better. Clean just clean the boards up. So that helps you guys. That's a vinyl click flooring system. Don't forget, like, share, follow, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, guys.